what we saw happen really over the last decade in the development of AI was that there was kind of a confluence of factors, right? There was the development of the hardware, so the emergence of, of GPUs uh, and ultimately of, of TPUs that were capable of handling this kind of complex linear algebra calculations that are at the heart of AI. Uh, there was the emergence of algorithms, you know, tremendous development of AI algorithms, uh, and also just an explosion of data for training. And it was those three factors that led to the growth and development and ultimately the business impact of, of AI and machine learning. I think in the quantum computing area, there's kind of a similar trifecta. There's one, the development of the hardware, right? And so cold quanta is absolutely part of that. Uh, new modalities, higher qubit counts, higher connectivity, and the whole industry is pushing um, in, in every part of the parameter space on the development of the, of the hardware. Uh, the second is absolutely the development of, of algorithms, right? Some tremendous work happening uh, on the on the quantum algorithms. And then the third important one, I think, is the development of use cases. And I think that's the area where we're just starting to scratch the surface of, of what the use cases are, not just on these kind of standalone problems, but ultimately truly in production. Where can this gear of devices actually add value as part of a real business production workflow? in the near term and i think that's where you're going to start to see the innovation happen over the next kind of year to couple of years in concert with the innovation in hardware and the innovation of algorithms that will start to deliver some real business value